You look a bit overdressed there, Sean. Overdressed? Yeah. Are we really going to make a story out of the fact that I had a shirt on? Are we really? Is that the best we can do today? Oh, is that absolutely. the best? The way you got a shirt on, I had a shirt on. Sorry, you know, do people ever think that I was out there for about 14 and a half seconds? It's a strange world we're living. You have a long sleeve shirt, though. Yeah, I'm disappointed in myself. I'll wear short sleeve next time. I've got a scarf on today. I can see Chris got a jaunty little red uh, woolly hat. So, so this is the best we can do then. So we are going to go yeah. down that road. Okay. Right, that's well, brilliant. Are allowed that's... to wear snoots or, 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 or gloves today? Can I have a rule about? Come on, let's, let's have something real. Come on. What about training inside? Uh, what about it? What would you like well, to you know about it? I pitch there in this time, which you hardly ever use. Uh, we've got a what, sorry? A light indoor pitch there at the training ground. Okay, yep. Which I'm told you hardly ever use. This is the information that I have. You know I gather all the great information, Sean. Uh, it sounds like it. We, we have underfloor, uh, under soil heating, both at turf, by the way, against what seemed to be a, another misconstrued moment in time. Uh, both at turf more and at the training ground here. So therefore, it's minimal need to use the indoor area. But if and when we decide to, then we do. Because um, you may be aware, but it's not the same as grass. Wolves. Correct. Is it, is it same, same team, different team talk, or is it just not as simple as that? Well, there's a fair chance that it's the same team that we were going to put out because we like the team that we thought were going to go out and play. Um, we've got to monitor injuries or possible injuries today and uh, tomorrow so hopefully there won't be any um yeah but i mean we we'll prepare for the game as we do we've we've trained very well today um extra training day if you like so we we'll be ready to play that's for sure serious you know what what damage does it do to planning and uh, and the schedule uh, when a game is called off you know so late well we don't know yet going forwards obviously when the game's going to be put back in um Whatever, you know, it causes is only really the fact everyone's up for it. You know, we're up for it, the players are up for it, you're geared up for it mentally, physically, uh, all the emotions that, are, that happen pre-game and then it flatlines because it's called off. So, uh, but the players have been around, you know, long enough to know this happens sometimes, very rarely nowadays actually. Um, but I was there and it was physically, um, you know, when you were there physically, sorry, it was, it was way worse than some of the pitches even looked. Um, you know, people were trying drastically... A very different, you know, under very difficult circumstances to get as much snow off the pitch and every time they got it off more late. So, you know, it was just a, a speed thing that the amount of snow falling was just very difficult to get on top of. I've got against Wolves over the years, including obviously last season. Yeah, I mean, look, the, the, you know, results against teams don't guarantee that you get the next one, but it, it, I think it, we have had a very good record against Wolves. Um, the various meetings we've had and, we, and we've mostly played well against them. We're going to have to do that again. You know, they're having a decent season. Um, they're going well. They've had a, once they sort of found their feet a little bit, they, they seem to have gone well since then. Um, so, yeah, we, we know it's another, another challenge um, all Premier League games are. After the start of that interview, I think I'll get my coat, as they say. Thank you very much. OK, cheers. <laughs> Flowed nicely, that one. Thanks, Gary. Um, third brothers, PLP. Hi, Sean. Nice to see you. Hi, yeah. Uh, Gary mentioned there about um, some sure. of the victories you've had over over Wolves recently. That four 0 win, the most recent one as well. That half half t uh, first half hat trick from Chris Wood. What, what are your memories of that game? Well, we went about it in the right the right manner. You know, we took the game on um, from the first whistle. We know we've got to do that. Um, as I said, they're a good outfit, Wolves. Um, they have been the last few seasons and now they've found their feet, or it seems like they've found their feet, um, having a, a strong season so far. So, you know, we know, we know we've got to be on top of our game. Um, you've got to do that in every Premier League game. And I, I've said all this season, but particularly this um, run we've had, only one loss in seven, there's been a good mentality to it. There's been a good performance level and consistency. We've got to keep doing that. We've got to keep adding to what we do. We've got to keep adding to the detail in what we show in games. Um, and you have to do it, you know, with, with that consistent um, uh, consistency in mind. Um, so we, we, we're never far away, I don't feel. Um, and we've been pretty decent over this run of games. We know we're going to have to build on that. You know, we can't just wait for games to come and, and give us something. We know we've got to build on these performances and turn some of these close games into wins. Um, and when you, when you play really well, most teams in this division, when they're playing well, 
you know, you can find a result because of the performance level. The, the tricky ones are the ones when it's not quite your your night or your day, when when they're the ones that you need to get on the right side of. And they're maybe the ones that we've, we've got away or let get away from us this season. Um, but the ones when we've played at least decently, well, we've got something from the game. So we've got to, we've got to make sure we take a, a firm mentality into this one. What do you think is the reason for that? Is it mentality? Is it, you know, you talked about Wolves finding their feet. It feels like you're starting to, to find your rhythm a little bit more this season. But what is it that's going to push you over that, that little bit more? Well, I've said, I've said all season, it's been the details this season because the stats are good. The suggested stats and facts of what we use are, are all in the right direction. Um, the details both ends of the pitch that's usually the answer you know you've got to get both ends of the pitch right the bit in the middle of course is important but mainly both boxes that's the bit you've got to get spot on you know we've been close we've been creating more chances we look more of a threat over the, the last few weeks um, but our but our statistical um, chance count of, of high quality chances is probably as high as it's been in the Premier League so you know, that's one view of it. And we've probably let one or two soft goals in, which is not like us. So tidying up both ends, as we have been doing over this run, um, and getting on the right sides of both ends of the pitch. And then if you do that and you're playing, playing well as well, then you've got a fair chance of winning games. You're obviously going to be w- without James Tolkovsky and Ashley Westwood um, for, for the game against Wolves. How big a miss will, will, will they be? Who are we expecting to come in for them? Well, it's a good job you mentioned them because don't clear up another myth that apparently we were trying to get the game off because then they could play the next one. It doesn't quite work like that, strange as it may seem. Um, so they will miss the game Wednesday and they're very good players. You know, they've, they've shown over a longer period um, with us that they're very good players. But we think we've got a good group here and a good squad. So, you know, it's a, a great opportunity. Nathan you know, Collins has done great this season when he's played. Um, so he's getting more and more rounded in the, in the, the, you know, the way that we work. You know, if he comes in, if Corky comes in, I mean, Corky's, a, you know, well-versed in the Premier League, so he understands it. Um, you know, we've got a number of players now, and I like that. I like the squad demand. You know, it's, a, it's an important thing for us. I've said it for a long time now, and I, I believe in this squad totally. Um, is there any other team news that, that you have? Is everybody else OK? Uh, you talked before about Dale Stevens getting back to, to full fitness. Yeah, he's back on the edge of it. Um, he says he feels fine. He's training fully now. He's, he's had a 90 minutes and a couple of other uh, moments in games. I mean, he still needs more football, but he says he feels fine, so that's good. Um, Barnes is the longer term one at the moment. Um, we're still not sure on the time scales, but it's, it's not going to be days. It'll be a few weeks, we think, so we'll have to wait on him. Other than that, a few knocks and aches, but nothing uh, too unusual. Just finally, you mentioned there about Wolves kind of finding their feet, obviously got a new head coach and playing a little bit more of an, an attacking style of football, perhaps. What have, what have you made of them this season? Um, well, I don't know whether it's more attacking or not, because um, I thought they were a pretty decent outfit anyway. Um, no, look, they've got some very good players. We know that. You know, they've got a format that they've kind of trusted for a while. I'm sure the coaching team that are in there now are giving their own kind of feel to it, their own twist to it. Um, we know they're a good outfit, basically. We know we've got to play well. You do in every Premier League game. Um, every game can offer something different. Uh, so we'll see. We've got to be ready.